Happy Sabbath and the uh, first day of Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles, the nature holiday, the harvest holiday, the original Thanksgiving, which we should be doing instead of this other one. Anyway, I was studying this morning, and it's an interesting verse in Jeremiah. Um, the correct way to say his name is Yermiyahu. Remember, there's no J in Hebrew. Anyway, this is uh, Jeremiah 15 and verse 19, I think. Produce what is noble out of the worthless. You shall be my spokesman. Think about that. Whatever uh, terrible, ugly, messy thing might be going on in the world or in your life, do some good with it. You could use it for some kind of good. Think about manure. Have you ever walked on a farm? Did you step in manure by accident? Well, that manure grows the most beautiful vegetables and flowers. So that's what we can do with messy, ugly, unfortunate situations around us and in our lives. Do some good with it. And sometimes the most messy, horrible, disgusting, sad, miserable situation can be used for some good and might be the only thing that can be used for good for a specific purpose. I mean, it, 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 it can be amazing, and there's no coincidences, and whatever is happening is necessary. And to quote uh, a famous Middle Eastern saying, you might dislike something which is good for you, and you might, you might love something which is very bad for you. So, that's my thoughts. I'm trying to uh, upload and download, or is it download and upload, some pictures of the sukkah, which I took last night and this morning. And it was nice and cool out there. I think it was too cool for mosquitoes, so that was good. And it didn't rain. And uh, when I went out there last uh, evening, the dog went out, and I guess people were walking their dogs or taking walks, and um, he was just barking all the time. I guess because I was outside, he wanted to let everybody know, my master's here, stay away. <laughs> I don't know, because I went out again about you know, 5.30 a.m. To, to study and pray, and he came out also, and he was very quiet. So I guess nobody was out walking. Anyway, it's fascinating um, the way dogs are, you know, about doing their duty, about being loyal. I mean, I, I wish all people could be as, as loyal as most dogs are. I even read once that uh, termites take care of each other better than, than humans take care of each other. How do you like that? Anyway, um, I have lots of things to say, and I have notes all over the place, but it's... Uh, oh, yes, yes. I'm always complaining about um, you know things my neighbors have done and said, and it seems that negative things are so we put so much attention on them that we we don't take the time to think of the good things. I, I might have more bad neighbors than good, but the few good ones I have are so good, so amazing, so wonderful. And, you know, why haven't I ever even mentioned them? For instance, the neighbor that likes to tease me about the decorations I put on my truck, he helps me a lot. Um, 
I had to buy a new lawnmower because it's just getting too hard for me with the slopes around here. So I decided to buy a self-propelled one. I'll have to take a picture of it for you. And um, I was having so so much trouble with the, the new one. And um, in the first place, my neighbor lady who moved the mattress and box spring, um, her and her husband took it down from the pickup truck for me. And, you know, that's really nice of them. And she always tells me, anything, anything you need help with, you call me. You don't pay me. You don't have to cook for me. You don't have to do anything. Just anything. Remember that. That's special. So anyway, my neighbor across the street who teases me about my truck, you know, he saw me struggling with the new mower because I'm not used to it, using it with the buttons and the levers and everything. So, um, so you know, he, he came right out. He said, what are you doing? You're having trouble? And so he helped me and he showed me how to do it. And, and, you know, he's always giving me things. And he's the one in this neighborhood that spends a lot of time talking to me. And conversation is important when you live alone with a dog. So... Um, I have to remember to uh, dwell on the good um, instead of the bad. And um, the, uh, the lady who uh, moved, um, we'll call her Mrs. E, Mrs. E who moved my mattress for me. You know, I said to her, uh, you know, the, most people in this neighborhood avoid me. And she said, you don't need them. You don't need them. See? <laughs> So, um, more later, I suppose.